Hi Mary, uh, we are here to honor you and we have a lot of reasons to do it. Some people live more in 20 years than other people do in 80. It's not the time that matters, it's the person. You probably know who said that, but you are the kind of person uh, who has already lived a lot, You're not even 20 yet. But we're here to honor what you have done. Well, Mary, I just want to say that uh, you have been an absolute joy in our home since the time you were a baby. And I really mean that. You have been, just been a blessing in every way. Um, when you were a very little girl, you accepted the Lord into your heart. And the fruit of that has been obvious throughout the years. I've seen you study the Bible and read the Bible. Um, since the time you were a little girl, you've always been so willing to um, just do whatever I ask, to serve in our home, to just be a help. The one thing that just kind of um, strikes me about you is that you've always had an outward focus. Um, just always thinking about other people. How can I serve? And that's even true throughout your high school years. You know, whenever anybody needed um, some help with anything, whenever there was an opportunity to serve, you signed up in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. um, no matter whether it was with 1031 or mission trips or in 4-H or ICC, whatever, um, whatever circle you were moving in, you were always looking for how you could serve. And that has just been a joy and a blessing. Um, you have also been incredibly easy to homeschool. I hardly even feel like I've homeschooled you. I feel like you have just been so responsible and diligent. I feel like I, like I was merely a guide just alongside you. And in the end, I feel like I'm learning so much from you um, in the diligent, organized way you um, live your life. I just know that um, you're, you are going to be a great blessing someday in whatever capacity you find yourself. And I'm just so um, happy for you um, as you approach going into your college years. I just know that wherever you are, that you're going to succeed because of your desire to serve the Lord, because of your outward focus, just your um, wanting to serve others. Uh, you just have a bright future ahead mm -hmm. of you, and we just love you so much. Mm -hmm. Coming up in the fall, you're uh, headed only 512 miles <laughs> away. Uh, but. It looks like it's going to be real good, and uh, we are real proud uh, that you're uh, going to be able to head off to Hillsdale. Uh, trust that will be a really good and fruitful time there. Colossians 1, I think, sums up uh, what we want to say. Uh, and so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. We're seeing you grow and bear that fruit even now. We know that there's a lot of good uh, coming ahead for you. We love you.